Hi friends, I am Jitendra Bhafna. Today we will going to see a Google API connector with a Mule ESB. So what is a Google API? So Google has a various services like Google Map, you know, like Google Spreadsheet, you know, like Google YouTube, Google Contacts, Google Calendar, Google Drive. Okay, so if Google has provided the API for each and every services, so you can access those services using the API. So Mule has a good capability of connecting to all the Google APIs. It has also various connector which can connect to the Google API. Okay, so we will going to see today a Google spreadsheet connector with Mule ESB. Fine. So what I will do first, I will create a file new Mule project. I will say Google API connector. For runtime, I will keep 3.8 only. only. For, for in your case, there can be multiple runtime. You can select one depending on your choice. Rest of the thing I will not touch. I will say finish. I will drag and drop HTTP listener component into message canvas. I am going to configure it. Under I will click on this add button. Rest of the setting I will keep default. Path I will say authorize. Allow me to let it be anything. Uh, I will say logger. For, I want to see the logs that I put in the logger. Now I will search for Google Spreadsheet Connector. This is Google Spreadsheet Connector. But you see, like in your case, you will not able to find a Google Spreadsheet Connector because I have already installed from the exchange. So you have to do like search Google exchange. So you can see various connector: Google Spreadsheet Connector. Google Task Connector, Google Calendar, Google Contact Connector, Prediction Connector, Google Contact Grammar, all those things. Okay, so you can click here and it will start installing the connector in your AnyPoint Studio. I will close this. Next thing, I will drag and drop Google Spreadsheet Connector. Okay, I will to config. I will going to configure it. Click on this Add button. So we require consumer key and consumer secret. For that, what you have to do? You have to log into the Google Developer Console. That is the Google API Manager. Go to dashboard. Make sure your Google Spreadsheet API is enabled. Before me, it's already enabled. Google Contact, anything. If you want to enable any services, any API, you can click on Enable the API and you can select the service which you want to enable. Now go to Credential. So I already add add the credential for my myself. So I will say if you want to add any credential, you say create credential OAuth client ID. So you have to select web application, you create, start creating your credential. So right now I will not going to create any credential. So I will go to client ID, CG client. So here I will copy this client ID. I will, okay. I will paste it here. I have to remove that end space. You can see the space in the end, remove that. Sometimes it happens, we can by mistake we copy the space also. Now I will copy this client secret. I will paste it here. Okay. Now, this is important. You have to set the OAuth callback config. So, I will use the local host. That is fine for testing purpose. You can use local host. Port, I will say 3000. 3000. Path, I will say OAuth call. Okay. OAuth call, I will say OK. Now, you have to provide access token here. That is not compulsory, but you can provide it. I have already. See, this is access token URL. You can get it from Google Documents. Okay. Now authorization URL. Okay. This is the setting you have to do. So what will happen? See Google API is O authorization two. So we have to send the secret key and secret sorry to, uh, client secret and client ID. Okay. So it will return back a set token ID. And that you know that token there is a expiry limit for token ID minimum for two hours. So that token you have to generate a new token every two hours. Okay. So when you, okay when you send the actual request before or after authorization, so you have to send that token ID with the actual request. So we can able to fetch the data from Google API. So in this case, what we will do? We will generate the token for each and every request. So if you want to, you know, like don't want to generate the token with every request. So what you can do, you can use the object store. You can store the, the token in the object store. Okay. 
and in next flow you can design the you know design the flow to read the data from the google or google spreadsheet fine so and you can retrieve that token from the object store so just make sure like you generate the token every two hours okay so this is how you can do so we have done the configuration for that now i will put logger and i will say your request has been authorized that's it let me save it i will run it no i will run it yes we have we are not fetching any data right now from the spreadsheet we will check just we i are we able to authorize or not application has been deployed you will see there will be the error this will not work it will give see redirect uri mismatch fine so this is how you can solve this so you have to go back to api manager google api you have to configure the url call back url here http local host i will say 3000 i will say call Let me check what is the URL. You have to go to spreadsheet. You have to go or this is my call. The local host three thousand. Okay. Let me type once again. HTTP local host three thousand. or call i will just save it okay, now your url is here right i added the url in the google api manager or developer console now i will try to send the request again it should work now let me copy this url sometime it take time to refresh there so let me make sure i'm just have correct url what i have to do i have to close this and i have to open the other window let me close okay i have to stop the application i have to start the application once again let me open the google chrome Let's wait till application is deploying. Okay, it's deployed now. So let me put again. Okay, it was saying local host o o or call. Did I was correct? Let's wait. It is not reflected here. So we will wait till it get reflected. Or let me check if I have done. Okay, let's wait. Taking some time for the reflecting. So let me test it on this browser. Okay. So let me check the console. So I will check. It was saying your request has been authorized. So it has been passed now. Now what we have to do? Your request has been authorized. So I have some spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet employee. Under employee, I have a spreadsheet worksheet called employee. So this is my spreadsheet name, okay? And okay, and this is my worksheet name. So I have two record. I have to face those record. 
what I will do? So I'm not, as I mentioned, like you can use the object store and you can store, uh, you can store your token ID into that object store. You can create the other flow where, from where you can read the data and you can retrieve the token from the object store. But here, I, what I will do, I will keep it simple. I will use another Google spreadsheet connector. Okay. What I will do here, I will going to use the other method. Uh, I will say get all cells as a CSV. You have to provide the spreadsheet name. I also already mentioned it's employee. Worksheet name, it's already a, it's employee. Fine. And if you see the connector configuration, it's all everything is there. One thing you have to do, connection. How can you read the token which has been generated by Google spreadsheet in the same flow? You can use flow bars or access token ID. This is this is the way you can read your token. Now we get a data. We have to store the data somewhere. I will save use the file connector and store the data in the file connector. So what I will do, I will create one new folder in source test resources. I will say okay, not test, I will say out finish. Refresh it, no data. Let me configure it. File connector SRC test resources. I will say out. Okay. So I have let application to be deployed. It has been deployed. Now I will use the, again Internet Explorer. HTTP localhost 8018 authorized. Okay, we get the record. See, we have. A, let me open the spreadsheet. Uh, Jitendra, uh, Nilesh, and all whatever we have all those things. And if you see the output, we got M Jitendra, Nilesh, Tritopo. It has able to read your spreadsheet. And if we go to the out folder, you will be able to find. Okay. You can format the data according to your needs. I have used just uh, one separate. You can use line separate. And you can see there are various methods. You can get the cell range. You can set CSV values, update worksheet, metadata. You can authorize, you can unauthorize, you can delete the worksheet. You can do a lot of operations, right? So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching video.